Hello everyone, how is your day going? Filled with joy, or are you still searching for a reason to smile? No matter your current mood, our video will help you find joy. Today's video will take you through some unbelievably funny moments caught on live TV experiencing instant karma. Now, let's go. Encountering some trouble with her tight-fitting dress, this actress still managed to maintain her professionalism. No! Oh, no! Oh, sweet Jesus! Come here! Despite being live on air, this male broadcaster couldn't stop laughing due to today's guest's humor. <laughs> Someone appeared to have been caught with their lunch still in their mouth, not yet swallowed, during today's live broadcast. Perhaps this male broadcaster just wanted to make his news segment more engaging, so he decided to try this risky game. This former athlete seems to have invented a new way to eat birthday cake that probably no one would want to imitate. <laughs> How about the face plan here? The interview was unstable as today's guest appeared to be mute, but he was still very enthusiastic with the broadcaster. <laughs> Champagne has apparently become a must-have tradition for celebrating at sports interview events. This female singer left the audience stunned by fearlessly showing off her imperfections in front of everyone. The panic was unmistakable on the female broadcaster's face as a sudden thunderclap hit amidst today's stormy weather. These two broadcasters had an unforgettable Halloween after their mishap made a pumpkin explode. Of that pumpkin. Let's see here. Okay, we blew up the whole thing. <laughs> If you're curious about how to make a striking impression on an audience, just ask today's female guest. This female broadcaster's segment was unexpectedly cut off by an ambulance racing by. Getting too hyped on a live show can sometimes be a recipe for disaster. Oh! I can't even help you up. I, I can't even help you up. The stubborn antics of this dog ended up giving its owner an interview to remember for all the wrong reasons. Though shocked by a nearby accident, she clearly kept her focus on her reporting duties. Despite some background noise from the man behind her, the professional female broadcaster carried on with her segment unfazed. Whoever came up with this wild simulation script must really have it out for this male broadcaster. Doing this is already illegal in New York. She's right to do that. This female weather forecaster, eager to deliver accurate forecasts, had to pause her segment due to uncooperative weather. A near miss accident caused by negligence almost gave the viewers behind this male broadcaster quite a scare. This was the scene all over Carmi, Illinois. Many trees uprooted. This broadcast not only captured the din of a passing truck, but also a surprise tire blowout. Today, this male broadcaster unexpectedly turned into the star dancer of the live performance. 
I'm, I'm, look at this. Here we go. Skating off We're doing all right. Sunset. Whoop, 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 up. Oh! oh! This female broadcaster received some charming assistance from a friendly camel. Now she's going to go over there and hey. <laughs> Hello. I think she wants to eat my headphone that's in my ear. We're live here at the exchange. <laughs> Caught off guard by the live camera, this female broadcaster was seen handling personal matters during the broadcast. Paul, oh, you're taking a, a... You can see President Trump communicated... Commuted Blagojevich prison sentence yesterday. Blagojevich... Sadly, this guy couldn't dodge the shop owner's lightning-fast reflexes and ended up leaving all his loot behind. She may have pulled off many heists before, but today, luck wasn't on her side. This homeless man was caught in the act of stealing from the car of the person who was filming him. This live broadcast turned into the perfect setup for his colleague to start a snowball fight without any comebacks. Broadcasters need to keep their emotions in check, but it seems this female broadcaster accidentally let her disappointment show on today's live. The quick reflexes of this male athlete just saved the female reporter from a potential accident. Exiting this live event seems to be a real struggle for this high-ranking official dealing with a leg issue. Democracy. He thought he had easily won, but ended up regretting it when he fell right into his own trap. <laughs> this guy clearly picked the wrong tactic for pranking this camel, considering spitting is their forte. <laughs> The trick this guy pulled seemed to backfire on him almost instantly. <laughs> it's really best not to exploit other people's weaknesses. Before you try to pull a fast one on someone, better make sure you know who you're dealing with, or you might just get a taste of your own medicine, like this fellow did. It might be time for the female anchors to phase out those green dresses from their closets. They're, oh, hello. Apparently the blue in my dress is turning up green. I'm literally... This female anchor ended up with a soaking she definitely didn't sign up for. In a fire in 2017. So be careful when you drive through here. Look at that. Showtime is here, but this female anchor seems to need a bit more time to get her outfit just right. This male anchor just successfully broke the story of an unplanned robbery, adding an unexpected twist to today's news. Uh, this is live TV, folks. That's the robber just went by, uh, according to the bank. Uh... 
Despite their best efforts, it seems the anchors couldn't avoid succumbing to fits of unexplainable laughter. Do you eat it now, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> A snack-bearing guest apparently made an unauthorized appearance during his colleague's broadcast. Mission revealed morning anchors Brandon Todd and Hannah Bata were not quite ready to go live. This male anchor had a rough start this morning, repeatedly tripping over his words. <laughs> had contracted uh, each one. <laughs> contracted COVID-19. <laughs> Their live show was briefly derailed by a sudden sneeze from the male co-host. Even when you are reporting live. <laughs> Sorry. We can do it in a single box if you want. Uh, that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Liz McLaughlin shows us the next. A perfect score for the stellar graphics and the male broadcaster's seamless teamwork in today's weather forecast. <laughs> what on earth is happening in here right now? A minor technical snag just popped up, but it didn't seem to phase this male broadcaster at all. It looks like sheer exhaustion has someone catching some Z's live on air. Good to see you. Welcome to Fox and Friends. This male broadcaster got a real deal Halloween scare, thanks to a prank from his female colleague. Oh my God! Oh. Oh. Thieves often think they're smart until they run into veteran jewelry store owners. This man got annoyed when someone filmed him in the supermarket, which led to him being kicked out. And the special exit ticket for the woman causing a scene was a forced departure from the plane. After causing trouble in the mall, this woman was promptly shown the door by the police. She aimed for a flawless broadcast, but her dog had other plans. Today's guest turned out to be far more headstrong than anticipated in today's broadcast script. Ayina. <laughs> this dog stole the spotlight by mysteriously pausing during the male anchor segment. There some oh, oh, he's going for the squirrel. Broadcaster's dog proved to be a difficult guest, ignoring his requests for quiet for the fifth time. Three, two, one. Maple, excuse me. The delightful presence of this child added a fun twist to the broadcast, but also brought a touch of comedic chaos. 
If there were an award for the most awkward female broadcaster, this anchor would be the clear winner. This female broadcaster charmingly smoothed over a technical slip-up from her team. Well, it was a homecoming that was never expected. It seems this guy had to experience the very thing he least wanted for himself. He trusted his gut feeling, but the police will show him why he was wrong. This lady surely must regret intentionally disregarding the courtesy of a gentleman. It seems her microphone malfunctioned, so when she was asked a question, she just stood there as if waiting for something to happen. What the answer is going to be like. When faced with a display error from the tech crew, this female broadcaster quickly fixed it with a touch of humor. Six o'clock on Friday, April 2nd. I'm, I'm Francis Wang, Maribel is off. Thank you so much for making us. This female host turned today's news segment into a comedy sketch by tripping over the same word three times. You come. I'm just not having nuts ever again. Once more, cell phones proved to be the downfall for these female hosts, distracting them during the live broadcast. Well, let's check. Actually, Alyssa Martin's not running for Alderman in. Oh. At times, ultra-realistic screens can embarrass broadcasters with unforeseen snafus. Yes, today would be a nice day to eat outside, but you might want a windscreen later in the afternoon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mm -hmm. Reporting on ice and snow is a slippery ordeal, and this broadcaster couldn't dodge a clumsy tumble on live TV. <laughs> Today's anchors were visibly struggling to hold back their laughter following a comedic mishap at a major event. This male broadcaster awkwardly picked up his remote after accidentally dropping it during a live weather report. First time that has ever happened to me, Scott. <laughs> this dog was visibly thrilled to meet our male broadcaster, its new friend. It's going back to work. Ashcraft is clearly very stressed about coming to work. Ashcraft is not remotely stressed. He's like a She was forecasting the weather, but clearly didn't see her own slip up coming. Exactly. So I guess I'm helping out the poll here. 47 degrees. So I got so excited I almost fell. This Today's automated camera was off its mark, complicating the broadcast. Someone was apparently eager to clock out early, but it seems the camera wasn't on the same page today. That's going to be it for Sports More News after this. Today's live broadcast seems riddled with distractions affecting many on set. After breaking a car window, 
She ended up calling the police on herself and now faces a hefty fine for her rash action. Now you're going to jail. Sadly for this car's owner, everyone seems quite happy with what these two sanitation workers did. You're better off not pushing the limits of someone stronger than you. Oh my god. The guy who owns this car thought he could just throw trash on the street, but unlucky for him, the lady in the white car is a big environmental advocate. And now it's time for this passenger to learn how to treat cleaning staff with respect. This outcome seems perfectly justified for anyone who's out to hurt others. <laughs> Here's a tip for this lady. If you play dirty, don't expect things to end well. The perfect gift for this guy? A free swim pass. Thinking of turning the sidewalk into your personal parking spot? Bad idea. <laughs> you can express your personality anywhere, but teaching you a lesson is the job of the police. Actually, playing a snowball fight also requires a lot of luck. This guy planned to prank his girlfriend, but unfortunately, he ended up experiencing what it feels like to be the victim himself. Get to like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos from us. We look forward to continuing this journey with you in our upcoming videos. Peace.